You are welcome to another video of Juniper Junos Associate course. In this video, I will talk about Juniper Routing Instance concept and configuration. Juniper Routing Instance has the same concept of VRF in Cisco routers. It means you can use a single physical router as multiple logical routers. Each logical router has a completely separated and isolated control plane and data plane components like an independent physical router but the management plane is shared between all routing instances or logical routers as I explained earlier with juniper routing instance exactly like vrf you don't need to use multiple router for multiple purposes or multiple customers instead you can use just one physical rotor with multiple routing instances or VRF each for a purpose or customer. Some of the applications are somehow displayed in this figure. As a first example, a company does not to install multiple physical gateways for MPLS gateway, internet gateway, and SD-WAN gateway. A logical routing instance can be used for each of these gateways in the second example a public data center provides each customer with a separate router with their own bgp configuration to the internet isp neighbors instead multiple routing instances will be used in the third example an mpls vpn service provider uses a separate routing instance for each customer to install their routing information and advertise across the service provider network two routing instances are usually pre-configured in the router in the factory default and management by default management interface is a member of management routing instance and all other interfaces are member of the default routing instance you can create as many routing instance as you need in your network according to the resource limitation each routing instance is completely isolated from other routing instances in terms of control plane and data plane in the control plane you use an independent routing protocol and routing table for each routing instance this figure assumes that an independent OSPF is used in the default and routing instance 1. Management routing instance uses a static to handle routing information and the routing instance 2 uses ISOS as its own routing protocol. The routes learned in each routing instances are stored in an independent routing table. In data plane, each routing instances has its own interfaces and forwarding table. Interfaces can be physical, sub-interface or logical interfaces assigned to each routing instance. When a traffic is received in an interface in the router, depending on which routing instance this interface belongs to, the traffic is processed and forwarded based on the corresponding forwarding table the only section shared by routing instance is the management plane when an administrator connects to the device it can manage all routing instances independently of the routing instance that the administrator owns in other words an administrator belonging to the customer a with routing instance 2 can also view and manage other instances to configure a routing instance example i pre-configured a sample topology with two isolated networks but simulated by a shared physical router pairs between these two networks in the first network two loopback interfaces with ip address 172.16.1 and 172.16.2 will connect to each other through two routers connected to each other with a link with IP address range 10.10.10 slash 24 
in this network all interfaces are in the same common cross zoom in the second network two loopback interfaces with the ip address 172.17.1 and 17.2 will connect to each other through two routers connected to each other with a link with the ip address range 2020-24 in this network all interfaces are in the same common trust one zoom these two networks will be implemented with just one physical router pair and with the help of routing instances the first network will use default routing instance that means we will not change anything for the first network since by default all interfaces are in the default routing instance for the second network we will create a new routing instance with the name of a interfaces related to the second network will be assigned to this new routing instance include loopback 0 unit i and giga ethernet 001 a static routing will be used for each routing instance independently to handle the routing information so the loopback interfaces can reach each other in the both networks all previous configurations including routing routing protocol and interfaces are already deleted from the configuration to start the configuration we first configure the ip address of interface giga 0 and loopback 0 in the default routing instance the interfaces are in the default routing instance by default and we only provide the ip addresses as shown in the previous topology we will also add the interfaces into trust zone and enable host inbound traffic for ping and trace connectivity check i prepared already the configuration just to copy as you can see interface giga 00 and loopback 0 we give the ip addresses as the topology then we put these two interfaces into trust zone and we enable host inbound traffic for ping and trace connectivity in virtual sx1 copy configure and then paste and then commit for virtual sx2 configure and then commit in the second step we will create a new routing instance routing instance a and add interfaces giga ethernet 1 and loopback 0 unit 1 in the new routing instance the type of routing instance is virtual router we have different type of routing instance for different applications which is not discussed in this course then we will give the ip address of interfaces in the new instances as it was shown the topology we will also add a new security zone trust one and all interfaces giga ethernet one and loopback zero unit one in the new routing instance are in the zone trust a and enable host inbound traffic for ping and trace connectivity so copy in virtual sx1 and then commit and for virtual sx2 and then comment for the new zone trust one there is no default policy like trust zoom to permit everything and we have to create a new policy to permit all traffic between interfaces in the same new zoom trust one source any destination any application any and then permit from trust one zone to trust one zone between all interfaces in the same zone so i will copy the configuration paste commit and also which are the six two and then commit with a command a show route instance in operational mode we can check the routing instances created in the router 
run show route instance as you can see there is a default master routing instance the type of forwarding but we have created a new routing instance with the name of a with the type of virtual router for both ipv4 and ipv6 for a specific routing instance also we can check for example a and then brief or detail as you can see the interface loopback 0 unit 1 and giga internet 1 are inside the new instance instance a with the command show interface test routing instance all or for an, a specific routing instance we can check which interfaces to which routing instance are assigned we have also checked with the show route instance detail we have seen the same output but run show interface test for routing instance a for example we can see which interfaces are assigned to the routing instance a we can also check the all routing instance instances and the interfaces assigned to them and also the ip addresses to make sure that the links connecting routers to each other are up we can pin the other side of the connection but to pin the other side of the link belonging to the routing instance a we need to use pin command in routing instance for example i want to pin from virtual sx1 to virtual sx2 but in the default routing instance we don't need to call the routing instance name just ping 10 10 10 1 and 10 10 2 the other side but to ping in the routing instance a we have to say for example routing instance a and then the ip address of the router itself and the other side of the connection as you can see both connections are up to make loopback interfaces to reach each other we need to create the required routing information for the default routing instance we create the routing information as we have learned in the previous sections but for the routing instance a the routing information must be created inside the routing instance inside the routing instance a we create a static route for the destination and we specify also the next hop ip address so we configure the routing information for both default and a routing instance for virtual sx1 paste and then commit and for virtual sx2 and then commit after creating the routes in the routing table we can check the default routing instance table with show route as we have seen in the previous video but for the routing instance a the command is show route with the run at the beginning and table and table routing instance a the routing table ip before as you can see the static route 172.17 one zero is the static route created in the routing instance a but the others are direct or locally connected links as you can see with the show route command in each routing instance the routes only related to that routing instance will be displayed in the default routing instance the route to destination 172.16 one and 16.2 in the other side will be in the routing table for the second routing instance routing instance a 172.17.1 and 2 are created in the both routers 
With the ping and trace route command in the default routing instance and the new routing instance, configured routing instance A, we can make sure of the connectivity between loopback interfaces. For the default routing instance, ping 172.16.2 with the source of 172.16.1.1. But for uh, routing instance A, we have to specify the routing instance run ping routing instance a ping the ip address of the other side loopback interface with the source of loopback interface router itself this is also true for the ping command run uh, for the trace command run trace route routing options a and 172.17.2.1 with the source of 172.17.1.1 as you can see there is connectivity between two loopback interfaces in both networks default routing instance and routing instance A